Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create checklists on cards with Trello. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Trello, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Creating a checklist on a cards with Trello is a straightforward process, making them a valuable tool for organizing tasks and projects. Now, once you are here on the Trello homepage, I need you to click on the boards that you are currently working on. In my case, that's going to be how to create checklist on cards. Let me click that for you. Okay, so here, for example, I'm going to be doing this on this specific uh, task or cards. You see, Checklist helps break down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable subtasks. This makes complex projects less overwhelming and easier to handle. You would be able to see multiple options that you can add to the card, which is members, labels, and of course, you have the checklist. Once you do that, all you're going to do is you can title checklist if you want it. For example, that you can copy items from a specific um, card. For example, that's going to be project goals or even on the how to create checklist on cards, depending on your uh, maybe preferences and goals. Now, as you complete the uh, items on the checklist, Trello will visually shows the progress with a percentage completion bar, giving you a clear indication of how much left is work. All I'm gonna do is click on add, and you would be able to see all the uh, checklist here, design brand identity, design mobile app, design web app, you see? there's a project goal here right now the idea is the uh, checklist provides a structured way to outline the steps that needs to be completed right here so when you check the the boxes here it's being striked through or crossed out now by organizing checklist items you can prioritize tasks in order they need to be completed helping to focus on what's important i find it very useful if you are working with uh, multiple freelancers or within uh, team collaboration or if you're working with um, two or more clients at the same time because you can tag people or collaborator or members on specific checklist items. For example, this one, right? You can assign a collaborator here clarifying who is responsible for what. And of course, that prevents tasks from falling through the cracks and ensures accountability, all right? It provides transparency, allowing all people involved to see what tasks are being worked on and by whom, improving coordination and communication. And I believe that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.